You know how uh, when cats sit on glass surfaces, they leave the little bubble yep. puckering? Why don't they call those Hershey Kisses? Welcome back to Salty Entertainment Fun Time. Alright, we're back. I, I'm not showing the shell anymore. I, I'm just gonna get here, and if I die again, I'm just gonna we're cut just, back to here again. We're just gonna do it. Like, um, I'm dreading this level so much, and I know the next one after this is the the Chase the Mario down, so we're almost done with Noki Bay. Yeah! I just have to beat this part, which I, I didn't want to have to do. Oh, I shouldn't have... Okay, recover. You're, you're good, you're good. Remember your new tech. No, no. Remember your new spin tech. That's not gonna help me. It'll it'll give you more air time. Please, okay. Just patient. I'm just gonna be patient. Like, I think I usually just rush through shit, and I'm just gonna be patient. You wanna lame it out? Oh, duh. <gasps> Recovered. And backflip. Rem remember your spin tech. Maybe I should just be cool. No, Show I'm the not... people your spin tech. It's just a stupid spin wall bounce. Why are you being? Why are you doing this? Because you call yourself a C minus gamer, and I want you to know you're an A plus gamer. I do, in fact, not call myself a C minus gamer. <gasps> are you? I'm a C minus gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very much a C minus gamer. Oh my god. Man, I want a cat. So do I. But I'm going to be getting one soon. You know what? I can I can have a cat vicariously through you. I've been having dogs vicariously through you for the last couple of years. But you're, are you also going to get a dog? Yeah. A dog and a cat? Yeah. Are you going to teach the cat how to ride the dog? Like a uh, mount into battle? I mean, possibly. Uh, are you going to craft a tiny helmet and set no. up chain mail no, for I, my, aforementioned? My pets don't wear clothes. Mm, that's fair. But I feel like if you're teaching one to ride the other, it's, it's not that far of a leap to also give him a sword. It's... <laughs> I mean, a sword is not a piece of clothing. A sword is a way to live. Okay, <laughs> okay so then, uh, uh, is is your pupper slash cat going to wear a hilt? No. So how? how what, you can you can how free does it, ride. So okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's Please, fine. Okay. I, I'm okay. not questioning free riding the dog. I'm not talking about like a bridle and saddle. I'm talking about a place to put sword when not in paw. It's always <gasps> in paw. Yeah. How? how? D okay. <gasps> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Is this is this the farthest we've come? No, we've gotten here before. Oh, and this is where I've died. Oh, I see. You got this. Can you like triple? No. Nope, okay. Never mind. Okay. Now this is the farthest we've came. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, what's above you? Can I we don't. look? Can we look up? No. So I guess we have to get to the spinny platform next. No, it's. Yeah, I bet. Oh, unless you can wall jump off of that one to the thing behind you. That's what it wants me to do. Is that glass? Or a hole? Uh, okay, Is do I have to triple- do I have to double wall jump? I think- I think you gotta dub the wall jumps. Yeah, that was- okay, well, okay, okay, okay. Easy, easy. Okay, it's, farthest we've made it. I was gonna say- farthest now this is progress. Okay. And now it's the easy part. It just Jesus spins. Jesus Christ, it just keeps going! No, this is the easy part. It's just- it's just spinning blocks. You can walk. Okay, yep. Okay. See? Just keep- okay, we just-, just Keep talking about keep talking about this dog and saddle. Apparently, it's helping. Flap them little plumber oh, feet of yours. Way. Now it's going the other way. And it's faster. Talk about the cat and the dog. Damn it. Um, there once was a cat named Sylvester, who <laughs> rode on a dog so majestic. Why can't I have a checkpoint? Checkpoints are for losers. Your mom's not a Hoosier. Oh. Okay, I think if I just stay in the center, I'm safe. I forgot the first word I was rhyming with. Sylvester. Poindexter! Boom. Done. How you like them apples? So I think you just jump off of the end and let the platform come to you. Don't jump forward. Just oh, like... I, I was like almost eating my mic. I apologize. I'm like leaning into the TV. Here, I'll, I'll turn the... Oh, I'll oh my. I'll turn the audio device to you so that you can see when you're being loud. Bro, you think I'm taking any of my attention off of this? Uh, a little We're bit We're gonna maybe. sit here for 20 minutes of me trying to get back on... The... There we go. Okay. All and right. then... There we go. Oh, baby. Then, oh, baby. There this we go. Is... This is it. Okay. Oh, there's more. I'm yeah. I think I, this is the last bit though. No, it just keeps going. You no, you it got this, ends. sweetie. It's the song that never ends. Can you go in the no? Okay. <sighs> now just go up. I yes. On a Tuesday. I am I'm very aware. Okay. There we go. Okay, there, there it is. There we go. Keep, there's the end. Yeah, keep no. it. <gasps> no! No! Spin. Oh Tech Nine. We'll be back after these messages. I, it's so weird that like, 
for, I don't know, I've been watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine for, I don't know, probably close to a year or so now-ish, and never once has my mind associated, oh yeah, remember Lonely Island? <laughs> remember when he sang about dicks? Um, do you know that season eight's gonna be the final season? I have heard that. I think you're the one who told me that. I just know they got renewed. I didn't know it was gonna be the final season. Mm. I read it today. Amanda might have told me, but... I'm sad. I... But I hope it ends strong. I think that's why they're ending it at, with eight. Like... <gasps> it has been a very successful show, and I... Well, it got canceled off I, Fox and re-picked up. <laughs> yeah, well, they're dumb. Okay, oh, yeah, Fox, 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 Fox kind of cancels good shows. Yeah, Fox is on, please. <coughs> Firefly! Um, Wait, there's, there's, some, there's some new news about Firefly. <gasps> I was reading something. There's some new news about a Firefly show. I think there's a show. video game coming for it. Okay. Sorry. There was no there. I think there was rumors for a while of an HBO series in the Firefly universe. Um, I hate this game. But okay. as far as I'm aware, I don't think there's been any new news on it. Um, okay. I can't remember what I was saying. Uh, you were talking about Double Wall Jump Nine Nine ending season eight. Oh, yeah, like, I mean, I have mad respect for shows that don't run their own shows into the ground and just end. Scrubs. A la Breaking Bad. Meaning, Breaking Bad did it the Breaking right Bad way and Scrubs did it the wrong way. Scrubs did it the wrong way. How I Met Your Mother did it the wrong way. Yeah, I don't know. No, How I Met Your Mother should have ended halfway through the season. I was going to say, like, the way that Him Yim fucked up is different than the way that Scrubs fucked up. Yeah, Scrubs, Scrubs fucked, fucked up, up because they were like, yo, do you like these new lead characters? Do you want more seasons with new lead ca- Oh, oh no, oh, cut it, cut it, stop, stop, stop the presses! Stop! Even the old lead characters didn't act the same. And then I was like, I was watching it and I was like, cool. I was on board for a second. I was like, they're teachers now, that's cool. Uh, let me see them teach some new people. And then it started following the new people and I was like, no, wait, I don't care about the new people. I want the teacher, I want the teacher story. It's, it's the same way that I felt about uh, Girl oh Meets God, World, so except Girl Meets World actually had some moments that I liked. I haven't watched <laughs> all of it or even a lot of it, I'll say. Dots watched all of it. I, I, I never watched Boy Meets World. I was, I was a huge Boy Meets World fan. I probably still am. I haven't gone back and rewatched them, but I have... Uh, I believe my parents last year for Christmas got me the, the big DVD box set of all of them. I think she has them all, too. Actually, I think when we first moved into our house here in Pittsburgh, okay. uh, we didn't have our TV or internet hooked up yet, and the only thing we had was uh, a DVD player. So I just... I, I'm pretty sure that was on repeat for the first uh, two weeks that I was at home. Oh, oh my in God. In my new home. I did Boy it. Meets World brought you home. No, actually, talking about shows and forgetting about it for a second actually really helped. When it's Mario Meets World, Mario, going down that rainbow road called life. Something I never knew these words. Something, so Mario. I, I honestly don't know that. That's the Boy Meets World fucking I, thing I song. put that together. Ah! I just don't know it. I didn't watch it. Except I never knew most of those words because, for some reason, the singer in that song, they, they had like that 90s phaser effect on their voice. And he had a little Bruce Springsteen in there. Salami! But you couldn't really under- I'm sorry, not Bruce Springsteen. Um, I don't know, that was a funny-ass voice, though. Uh, there was an old country-ish singer who came to the college that we were at. How does this make sense? I'm hurting him with water. The same water that we're spraying. It must be the, uh, the pressure. It's, yeah, it's just a fire hose. Theoretically, we could hit him with anything and apply enough pressure and it'll- You dirty cock. How'd he do that? Uh, it punched me. Uh oh. I thought that was- Paint Mario. Okay, I, re I hear Mario. him. I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. Is he over here? Yeah. Damn it. Okay, well, the good news is I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. Damn it. But yeah, my favorite, my favorite parts of Girl Meets World were always seeing the actual old cast members, and that's probably just how it is for everybody. Except the new generation, which they're appealing right, that's, to. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Like, everybody who everybody who watched Girl Meets World because of Boy Meets World was very much just like, yeah, no, uh, where's Mr. Feeney? 
Well, isn't he passed away? I believe he's dead now. I don't know if he was dead when they started the show. Uh, man, did they do? Dead. Did they do what they did with uh, Fuller House? When uh, like the first episode, they fucking brought everybody back, and then after that, it was just completely once in a while somebody would pop back in here and there. I have no idea. I I saw episodes sporadically when my wife started watching it a little bit. Oh, I thought you were a Full House fan the way you shat on me the one day we talked about it. What? No, I'm not. A f I mean, I I watched a lot of Full House when I was younger. I wouldn't call myself a fan. I don't know. You sh you 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 ripped me into the ground for it. I ripped you into the ground because you were shitting on it for what it was then and now. I yeah, cuz back in the back in the day that was the shit. No, it wasn't. I learned a lot. What did you learn? Uh Danny Tanner could sneak out and do whatever she wanted while uh, Stephanie was a bitch. Well, first of all, I think you're talking about DJ. Yeah, whatever. Danny Tanner was the dad. And he even got in trouble for sneaking out sometimes. Yeah? Yeah. By whom? By DJ. <laughs> No, I don't think he, he didn't go on dates in that show. Oh, yes, he did. Did he? Yeah. I don't remember that. I don't even watch that shit, and I know I don't, that. I don't remember an yeah. episode. I don't remember the episode where all the kids would go, That's not my mom. No, not even that. Just, I think it was... Okay. I don't remember that episode. I feel like it's one of the... I feel like I've seen this episode. Maybe it's a different show, but I, I feel like it's an episode where the, the daughter gets in trouble for going out, and then the dad stays out really late, and the daughter yells at him. It's supposed to be how funny. I mean, I feel like you just described a very common sitcom trope. Hey! And guess what Full House was? Uh, it's just a trope. A it was very, just a sitcom a trope. A very common sitcom <laughs> trope. <laughs> Ah, oh. oh, but but St John Stamos. Come on, I mean, John yeah. Stamos. But John Stamos didn't save the whole show, and Uncle Jesse was, in fact, most of the time what people would call a dick. <laughs> Sorry to break the veil, just because he was the badass biker guy. What? Oh, I think Joey was the badass of the group. <laughs> just because you grew up to be Joey doesn't mean. <gasps> I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult, but I'm gonna take it both ways and say thank fuck you. <laughs> I love that. Thank fuck you. Thank fuck you. It, it was it was a good compliment. Go, did he go back to the start or did he already go up? I think he already went up on a Tuesday. Yeah, he's up. Nope. The music's not. The music's not wilding. It's not a ho ass vibe. Yeah, no. It's May, not. Did he not jump the whole way down? Maybe not. Maybe because I didn't fly all the way down the right way. Oh bother. We need some coinage. We do. That's why I'm going this way for a second. Taking uh, taking, taking a little bit of that fall damage. Because he keeps yeeting himself off a cliff. No, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Where'd you go? Damn it. I wanna kill you, ho. I'm specifically talking about Ink Mario. Nobody's life is in danger. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I ain't confessing to shit. But Vanessa, you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I can follow through with the bit. I was like, oh, maybe somebody will get offended. I, I can't. We we might have offended. If your name is Vanessa, we are not coming after you. No, but you gotta let us know in the comments so that we know who to not come after. That sounds creepy as shit. No, just send us your. Where did he go? I climbed all the way back up. Is he all the way back on the starting platform? Here I go. I miss me so. <laughs> I know. It's the same fucking bit, yeah. There Do he you. Is. Where the fuck were you? I don't know, but I found him. Monsieur Mario, can you try to? I was gonna say, is there? If you get like in front of him, when he tries to go through there. Can you corner him and- uh, I'm sorry, Mike, I keep No, he you. kind of overpowers me. I saw him- Oh, I'm sorry. Please, Dad, just let me go up. Um, are there no coins in this level? I mean, oh, wait, I saw one in that little punchy hole. For the love of fuck, Mario, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I shouldn't get mad. It's- it's because we're not singing. Jump up the stones. Stop. Hit me with them groans. Like you were playing tennis. Inside my bones. Oh my god, why? Lick my nine. Is, is there something wrong with my controller? Is that is that what is that what you're telling me, Mario? Or are you just being a dickhead? Thank you. Oh hey, there he is. It was a controller's fault again. And he hit me. No, don't do that. Remember kids, if they punch first, 
Hit him back. Knock him the fuck out. Also, kids, don't be listening to us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the what? number one. Oh, I can't do T-Pain's thing. <laughs> I almost did it. Yeah, you cannot do Yo, that. Uh, so T-Pain does okay, a... Oh, tight. Okay. If anyone's a fan of T-Pain, which, I mean, I think everyone's a fan of T-Pain. I am a fan of T-Pain. Uh, I have not heard any bad things about T-Pain yet. He does, he does a show with Red Bull called the Red Bull Remix Lab, and he invites producers into his space, and they remix one of the, uh, one of the big hits of their, of their guest producer. Like, um, Murder Beats, uh, the, the most recent episode, the one that I'm referencing now, Murder Beats was on, and they remixed, uh, that Meek Mill and Drake song, I can't remember the name, but it goes, Seminent and a lethal dog. Nothing really. Nope. Uh, I, I, the only line I remember is like uh, to be something fair, back home smoking legal dog. To be fair, I am not a fan. I'm not the. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of either of those two. Oh, me neither. But it was it was a big hit song. I think you know what maybe the reason the greatest thing about paying for a Spotify premium is that I don't have to listen to the radio. I think so. People can correct me and call me out on this if they want, but I'm pretty sure Meek Mill has uh, like a very big local fan base in Philadelphia, and I'm pretty sure I think that song was blasting on the radio like 24/7 the the period I was living in Philly, so that might be why I know it. Possibly. That's also the reason that I know the song too. Phones. <laughs> All right, man. I can't remember. Fuck. Oh no, I can't remember if we talked about it before, but just like the the way that that trends and culture moves through okay. time and geography is super interesting to me. Really? Yeah. Like I, I have. It's not like I've done a bunch of research into the matter or anything, but we need I that will, strategy guide. You can pull. I'm telling a story. Bitch, I'm playing the game. You're waiting. You're all you have to look. All you gotta do is get get him. This is a chasey level. This is. No, I'll keep telling you fucking story, Mrs. Doubtfire. Why that one? I don't know. Cause you had a, you raised your voice at me, and it went high pitched. Oh. And I'm very away from my microphone. <laughs> so now you're talking very loudly. I guess I don't have to talk very loudly. But no, like just when I was when I was out in Philly, like two phones was a was a huge hit. I think that's a Kevin Gates song. You think you're able to read to me sometimes? Uh, yeah, probably. And we keep going. But um, that song was really big then, and then we moved back to Pittsburgh. And three months after we moved back, that song was everywhere in Pittsburgh and playing on Kiss all the time. Uh, and I, I don't know. I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting the the way that trends move through, like especially America. Like, people talk a lot about the rock influence that came from, uh, Europe in the early, I wanna say 60s, 70s? Mm -hmm. Like, the, the, I can't remember what that wave was called. Um, but it's cool seeing it on a smaller scale, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look at this guide so I can guide you. No, it's fine. I'm the stage with a water pack. I, I am going to talk to the guy near the square hole. I, I was letting you tell your story. No? Yeah, and then, I mean, that was pretty much it. Okay, cool. I'm glad that's interested you. I didn't get to pay attention to it because I was doing like 15 different things at once, but I'm glad the fans got to experience it. We do it for the fans! I know, but I like to enjoy it too. I oh. have to hear it twice. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, I guess. Well, that's perfect then. Because now you'll only hear it once. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Mayor? Mr. Mayor. I didn't pay attention to what he said, and he said ask him for advice. Alright, now you can read ahead on that guide and tell me where the fuck to go. I don't know, go to the mail. Mayor, not mail. We... The mayor? Um... Oh, it's just the final water pack. I hit the wrong button. Taste do the maze. I hit the wrong button. Yeah, it's just do the maze. Motherfucker, I did the maze last time, and got lost, and died. Now fucking scroll through the guide! We're here. Oh, however... You can do it another way. How? Head to the village over the starting bridge. What? Then turn right and follow the area of ground that's clear of fire paint. It's paint? Oh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I just called it lava. Everything's paint. Ooh, uh, can we start a petition to call lava fire paint? I feel like there are a lot of villages that would be offended. And I want to paint it fire. Uh, go across the bridge. I'm going across the bridge. Then go to the right and find the spot that doesn't have fire paint on it. Go to the right and find the spot that doesn't have fire paint on it. La 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 
I don't know what that means. Uh, look, look to the center real quick. Look, mushrooms are blocking my pee. Is it over there? You mean over there? Yeah, probably. Um, because I see, I see in this this wonderful little guide here a small bridge. Oh, that's a the stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. So go, go there, and then hot. Can you? Yeah. I'll swim in the stream. I think so. I got a blue coin that's useless. Hop into the small stream, follow it to the center. You can use the residual water that sticks to Mario as a way to clear a path. What? What? To where? Oh, try jumping on the- try jumping up somewhere, like... It's saying the residual water, so maybe, like, you can jump onto the fire paint when you have water on your boots? Maybe. Oh, is- is this... Tedious? Is that where they want me to go? Uh, you can use the residual water to clear a path to the large platforms where the gold mushroom is. And get the water pack. Yes. So... Oh, it's saying you can walk a little bit and then turn around. Ah. Just gonna spray it. Spray and pray, baby. Cheating the game. Cheat I mean... the game. No stupid maze for me. I'm just gonna... Can I long jump in this game? I don't think I can. So, this is also saying what? that doing it this way is not guaranteed. What? There will be a 1 in 20 chance you succeed. What? So it's saying, if you are quick and determined, use the occasional dive. You will clear just enough area for you to do a U-turn jump and dive attack to safety. Oh, I guess this is saying, if you're focused and on getting there as safe as possible, then you can make it a lot easier. Okay. So what if I just fucking <gasps> yeet? Friggin' yeet yourself! Get that coin. Please get the coin before you die on I'm something okay. weird. I'm okay. Okay. Look, I'm already at the tree, bro. I already have the pack. You are the pack. There it is. And now what? Uh, get up there and get your shroom. Oh, that's it? I just have to clear him? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Do you, uh, do you gotta climb? I have to kill this thing. You gotta spray, spray the mmm. Spray the mmm. But a sneep store beep. It's mushrooms, yeah. Nope, that just gives me. <gasps> hey, look, I healed. That's ten, though. But it doesn't mean anything. That's another star, baby. It is another star. You're right. That's I should be. So, I should be more grateful. That's another star, baby. Please. Oh, what? <gasps> it's raining lava. Did you just shake your boot and hit me, sir? I'm trying to uh, save you. How are you not burning alive, by the way? Oh my god. I, you got this. I had it, and then it hit me with... Lava. <sighs> Flaming hot magma. Get up there. You, Can you not grab it? I guess. Do you have to get... Let's scroll. You can rescue by heading to the... Oh, yeah, it just says to go up there. Can you just climb the mushroom? No. no. Weehee! Do I need the rocket nozzle? Uh, no, it's saying to do it this way. Just get on the corner, like the very corner, right where that bamboo thing ends, and then try to back backflip it. I can't crouch. Oh, you can't crouch to get the, the big jump? No, you can't crouch in this game. Is there, there a- Oh, we go. There yeah! We go. What's up, sir? Get cleaned. Okay, give me. Yes, thank you, guide! Yay, we cheated! Dude, we're on fire. No, he was. I mean, yes! Yes, we're winning! We got two of the stars that have, have put me in my place and told me not to play this game anymore. In fact, we have three- I think that's three stars, so next time on Salty, we're gonna come back with the more stars. That was three stars. We got, oh, yeah, you're right. We beat the show, we beat- Mario, yeah, you're right. And then we got this. You're right. You're always right. We just have to finish up this. We just have to finish up this world, and we can win the game. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, now I'm excited. Yes. Yeah, so now you should subscribe to make sure you see that happen, and ring that bell so you get notifications when it's happening. Then you can see me be happy. And you could like that we're happy. Happy hap hip. How does that go? Oh, happy... hap 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 new hap. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. We'll tell you the story next time.